Programmer Chris Tarrant. You remember him, don't you? Now, for some of us, playing a computer game can be a somewhat humiliating experience, like acne, bad breath, or falling over trying to put your socks on. Now, take this next one. The average child of eight can usually play it non-stop for hours, and yet I'm fairly well over eight, and I usually get splattered all over the screen before I've even mastered the complexities of the joystick. <laughs> The things coming into the sights of my laser gun are a band of marauding aliens known as the Triad. The Triad are out to attack the peaceful transport ships. It's my job to blast the Triad into hundreds and thousands. If you do manage to beat off the Triad, you're still not out of the cosmic wood. Next, you have to clear a path through the meteor storm. When you've done that, your transport ship can pass through safe and sound. Then on you go through the limitless levels of Triad 64, an impressive, addictive game from Livewire Software for the Commodore 64. Number one enemy after alien nasties are animals like rats. You are in the sewers deep beneath the city trying to reduce the rat population by beating their brains out. Those lumps are bits of a special kind of gorgonzola cheese. The cheese is bait for the rats and gives you oxygen. But it also stinks something rotten. Matters aren't helped by the pudgy sewer monster. Just his touch will kill you. You also snuff it if the rats eat up all the cheese. And I've only got one lump left. You've got two weapons, your hammer and your can of patent monster repellent. The catch is you can't hurt rats with monster repellent and you can't hurt a monster with a hammer. This cunning and frustrating game is Rat Splat from Tansoft for the Oric computers. What nasty. This is Caesar the Cat, a game so brilliantly animated that it's fun to watch, let alone play. Here it's running in a new version for the ZX Spectrum. Originally, Caesar was available only on the Commodore 64. Let's have a look at that earlier version. Same cat, same idea, but different computer. Caesar is a moggy in a well-stocked larder who tries to keep a band of hungry mice from the food. But if you're not careful, Caesar only succeeds in making a hole in the best family crockery. You lose points every time he knocks over a dish, but you gain points every time he catches a mouse. This graphic masterpiece is from Mirasoft and is for the Commodore 64. The Spectrum version will be out soon. As with books and films, computer games can have sequels. This one, Revenge of the Mutant Camels, is a sequel to the earlier Attack of the Mutant Camels. And it's one of the most wonderful, wild and witty bits of computer software ever devised. Your mutant camel has to fight his way through 42 waves of totally surreal nasties. There are kangaroos on skis, nuclear-free telephone kiosks, British Rail sandwiches, and anything belonging to Ronald Reagan. But don't worry, you've got one weapon on your side, your spit. You can dodge and duck too, but if you get hit once too often, your camel's had it. But the real fun is finding out what new nasties are up the road. Who says a computer game can't be political? Revenge is an addictive masterpiece from Llamasoft for the Commodore 64. Now that's what computers are really for. <laughs>